guys, I uh, hope you're all well. I am at home right now, of course. I'm making a video, so I'm home. Um, it's about half past eight and my bus leaves at nine. So I had some time left over and I thought I'd make a video whilst I'm eating breakfast, actually. And um, yeah, a cup of tea and a sandwich. Uh, but I, <laughs> I'm not going to make you watch me eat breakfast. So, um, I just wanted to vlog a bit about like school and um, how I'm doing because I have to achieve a certain grade for me to get into university. And I mean, sometimes I'm really positive. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make it. It's not going to be hard. Actually, I'm going to make it. And other days, it's just, it's just like. Um, like um, they've said that I have to get an A overall, so that means like the highest grade for my m the most of my courses uh, and or the majority of my courses. I know that I already have like an A on my on the majority of my courses, but it still feels like I don't know, like they're going to be like. No, we don't want you, you got to love upgrades. But, I mean, they have already said yes. I've gotten a conditional offer, and just getting a conditional offer is getting really far, in my, in my perspective. Because they were the only uh, choice I made for university in the UK. I'm going to apply for... Um, some Swedish universities as well, but it feels like if if I get in, then I will, of course. <laughs> but I have to take these like tests. I, I don't know if they if it's like GCSEs, but on a high level, um, they are a national exam that you take to get into university in Sweden. And you don't have to take them, they're optional, but uh, if you take them, they greatly enhance the chances of you getting into university. So I'm going to do that. Actually, when I think about it, I'm going to have to um, to apply for that exam very soon because the date, um, it has an expiration date. If I don't apply before that, I'm not going to be able to do the exam. Um, so, yeah. This is just me pitting myself um, before school because we have a lot of exams right now. It's like our teachers just finally realise that they don't have enough material to decide what, we, what grade uh, they wanted to put on us. So, they have just raised up the amount of homework or exams very much. So I had an exam yesterday and I'm going to have one today as well and I'm having like the most trouble I'm having is with math because it I'm not a math person and I have chosen the cause of the highest possible maths that I can for my um, for my for my course basically or, um, so in Sweden we have maths A, B, C, D, E um, and something higher than that as well but uh, not many do that so uh, math A or calculus A is like the simplest math and then it goes up A, B, C and I'm doing uh, C. So we are three from my class of 30 people who are doing C, math C. And that's because it is like a hard time. And um, like I said, I'm not the most, I'm not like the greatest person. I don't have the greatest math abilities. I'm not just, yeah, I'm just not 
cut out for that. So, uh, I'm having a real hard time with that and I have to get a B to get into university. And I told my teacher that he has to have a dialogue with me and tell me when um, when I go down uh, below a B so I can do something about it. But um, hopefully <clears throat> I will get at least a B. Um, I mean, he is really, he really wants us all to get A's. <laughs> but Mad C, come on, get real. I don't think anyone's going to get, to going to get a grade. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's Tuesday, Thursday morning. You see, I can't talk. Um, I don't know why I decided to make a video right now. But I don't believe that anyone is going to get an A. Maybe like three or four people get a B and that's it. And the rest get C's or D's or E's or whatever. <sighs> so, okay, I'm done complaining and um going to talk about some nice stuff. Uh, the gymnastics time starts again. I'm pretty sure I've told you already. And um, yeah, it's going great. I'm the co-coach <laughs> I'm coaching with. Um, for my little uh, competitive girls or uh, she has done gymnastics for 25 years and coached for 15 years so that's a bit longer than I have um, I have done gymnastics for I think it was about five years and I coach now for about three years so that's like five, five times as much as I have She's five times more. <clears throat> like, she has so much stuff. <laughs> She's so good at, like, um... I mean, I'm good at motivating the girls, but she is good at, uh, like, disciplining. Because I'm not the strictest, per strictest person. Um, I'm a bit of a softie, really. Um, so, she's like the the strict one she's the bad cop and I'm the good cop um, yeah it's going great I'm learning really much really much is that even yeah so much and um, yeah hopefully I will have become so much a better coach for it and it's a bit sad thinking that this is my last term. I don't know if I've said this already. It feels like I have. If I have, then I'm sorry. But I really feel this way, so I need to say it again. And it's going to be sad quitting here or leaving gymnastics here and leaving my girls. Um, I'm going to continue gymnastics at university. I'm tr going to try to... Um, maybe get a coaching job and coach other girls. I do not know which level of difficulty the girls are at in the UK. Maybe they're higher or maybe the same. Um, I have a feeling that the higher a higher level of um, of gymnastics of gymnastic abilities or whatever. But if it works out, then I'll have a coaching job and I'll uh, start training again myself. That would be really fun because I, uh, I'm dying to do artistic again. I did do like some, I don't know what it's called. Um, we competed in uh, like a team um, and we did not do like bars, beam and stuff. We did... Uh, um, tumbling track, um, floors, stuff like that. So that's a different like branch of gymnastics and I want to go back into artistic because that's what uh, I'm passionate about. So uh, hopefully I'll get back into artistic gymnastics, even cheerleading maybe, I've thought about that. Um, yeah, okay I've blabbered on for nine minutes now and I need to uh, finish up my breakfast and um, gather my books together and uh, go to the bus. So I'll see you guys soon and uh, 
hope you have a great day and love and kisses from me and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.